in April 2018. It's now has more than 3,000 members. And as a charity, Greenhouse Sports supports more than 7,000 disadvantaged young people across London. Now, in terms of this building, they own the building, and the Greenhouse Centre is now turned into a, a facility for the North Paddington Food Bank. So, Vanessa, as you walk around, mm -hmm. there are thousands if thousands and thousands of items you've got uh, cereal you've got milk you've got soap powder you've got washing up liquid there's tons and tons of food here now what happens is the volunteers come here this afternoon well this morning and they will basically bag up the food and deliver about 100 parcels a day to the most needy in the westminster borough now anyone who wants a food parcel or wants to register needs to go on to westminster connects to register so this space which is normally a, a play center or play area for kids is now a, a, a holding place for food so let's bring in some of the volunteers so maria inglis is here now maria tell us a bit about the the food bank and and, and people that you're delivering the food to because i understand obviously with lockdown they can't come here to get the food you're actually going on foot yes we we deliver via a uh, car uh, so once the once the packages are packed up then the drivers come and deliver to the local area and the local families and the local people in the area and who are they are they young old uh, it's a variety of people some have children some are older some are really old like in the 80s and 90s uh and they just can't get out and they just don't have the money in this climate to actually pay for the food and the food vanessa is it's donated by local shops and uh, uh different businesses so uh, in front of me is uh, is a load of parcels already bagged up ready to go this morning so some families will get that parcel at about 11 o'clock so let's bring in uh, beatrice butana sita she's the ceo of the greenhouse center now this is your space you guys own the building as a charity so how did the idea come about to convert this space into a food bank space well, one of my neighbours is a volunteer with the North Paddington Food Bank, and she mentioned that they needed another hub. And actually, we are close to the church ward in Westminster, which is one of the poorest areas of Westminster. So I said, well, use my space. Why not? And it's an amazing space, high ceiling, you know, it's, uh, and good for social distancing as well. And we are being social distance. Everyone's kind of two metres apart here, Vanessa. Yeah. And I've got the microphone on, on a long pole. So uh, in terms of the young people then, when's this centre going to reopen for young people to use this space? Well, we would like to reopen around the mid of June. So that's in a few weeks' time because those kids need us. I mean, they, they, they live in very confined areas. And uh, so we are preparing, uh, actually, to, to get those kids back uh, mid of June. And let's bring in Jason. He's one of the uh, top coaches here. And table tennis is your thing. So in terms of young people right now, how are you engaging with the young people? Because you, I know you, there's more than 3,000 young people that were coming to the centre or you engage with here in Westminster alone. So where are they now? What are you doing? How are you engaging with them? So um, we have a, a home coach programme, which is an online tutorial to fitness and exercise. So that's going really, really well. All the kids get to go online and watch our coaches do live sessions. We also do some planned sessions where um, they're working on different skills and different mobility drills. So we're doing that every day. And then with certain teams and, and different disciplines, we um, have some, some sort of Zoom calls, well-being chats to make sure not just the sport, but how they're doing in life and, and how they're generally doing. So, so those have been super. And how are they doing, Jason? I guess they just want to get back in here and play table tennis and basketball and, and all the things kids do. Listen, I can't imagine what it's like. When I, was, when I was most of these kids' age, I was out and about doing stuff, feeling physically active. It, just the friendship groups they've lost, uh, you know, the time they're losing, just moving about, energising, socialising. Uh, it's just, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit of a nightmare, really. But hopefully when we do get back open, we can make a little bit of a difference for them. So you're hoping June. So they're hoping June, Vanessa, this sports centre will reopen for the young people to get out and get active here. So at the moment, they're contacting through social media and, and Zoom calls of a day. So in terms of the food bank, if you want to come and volunteer here, or even if you want to donate food, get in touch with Westminster Connects. They need as much help as they can get. And we're talking at the moment, three tonnes of food right here now, Vanessa. Amazing, and all of this really. will disappear within a, a few days. So they need re resupplies restocks and, and kind of just more more volunteers so westminster connects is how you get involved and come down and be a volunteer fantastic Vanessa. we give everyone our best love thank you so much greg amazing story there of people adapting and just trying to make the best possible difference they can that's why make a difference is such a beacon in these very difficult times